Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. About 2.30, July 2nd, Tuesday, about 82 degrees. I don't know if any of you guys have been counting, but this is video number 300. I made it up to 300 videos. Could you guys believe that? So a few things. Um, first of all, I got some thank yous. And let me, uh, let me see if I can uh, focus on these and, uh, and kind of run through them. VW Darren. Uh, watch your videos all the time. Enjoy the heck out of them. Same with Musty One. Musty One, enjoy all the comments. Helpful. Even the ones about studs and so forth. I didn't know if they come in a couple of different sizes. Wild Eyed Northern Boy, you're the one that got me started on this. Marcel St. Jean, enjoy your comments. Uh, enjoy your videos. You got me scrapping. Uh, Bethoven 3, he's the guy who, count, who uh, guessed how much I uh, paid for my um, PT Cruiser, he's also uh, got a lot of nice videos, he's doing good work on his PT Cruiser in his house. Tom Martin with Extreme Off-Roading, I think it is. Take note, Tom and then Martin with a YN. Anyway, uh, been watching his videos for quite a while. He started out romping Boland's tractors. Yeah, those heavy things that are right behind me right now. The Easy Jeezy. Uh, he does a job similar to what I do at my job. Uh, equipment maintenance, plant maintenance. Uh, watch his videos. Uh, good show. Bronco Carl. Uh, he's a guy that I, I like to watch. He does things right. Um, does a good job on things. Enjoy his videos. D.W. Morgan. Uh, a lot of romping videos there. Um, occasionally he blows things up. I'll shoot some videos of that. Uh, lots of comments. D.W. Morgan, you're out there for me. Wally, Wally, enjoy your comments, advice, all that. You're out there for me. Aaron, um, out there in California, uh, good luck. Hope you managed to get to school. Watch your videos. Enjoy your comments. Thanks. Raymond Earl, England, uh, enjoy your country. Enjoy your videos. Good luck putting together that uh, car, that electric vehicle you're working on. Um, WTBM123, uh, thanks for all the comments out there. Enjoy them, even if, it, uh, even if it's one word. i uh, like to know that somebody's out there watching my videos. I think, I mean, I think the way you say the next one, OT Alcard, Alcard. Uh, thanks for commenting, the advice and so forth. You're all there. Hope I didn't forget anybody. Um, these are most of the videos I watch. I used to watch um, David's Farm. He used to put together a lot of good stuff. I guess there have been some issues out there. Uh, David's Farm and... Um, and um, what is that? Crazy British bloke and all. Um, and Redneck Rickham. They shame they've they've all kind of uh, gone their separate ways. They used to uh, they used to put some good videos together. Uh, that was that was a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, they're all kind of separate now. David's farm really isn't putting much up. Occasionally, uh, one of the old gang um, puts out a video. What's his name? Um, Gear Loose 100. As a matter of fact, he just got back from Cuba. He's got a video of uh, some Cuban folks singing. Um, I can't pronounce it, Guantanamera or something like that. Anyway, uh, kind of almost hypnotic. So, uh, a couple of things to definitely describe my uh, video, parental guidance. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. And... So, anyway, yeah, my favorite two buttons. A um, couple of things. Still got to do something with this. I'm uh, fighting. I'm pretending I, I, I'm like running three different shops. I got the basement or three different garages or three different work areas, however you want to call it. I have the basement, then I have the lower garage, then I have the upper garage, and there was a period of time when I was going to do something with, with the space um, over here. The reason why I was going to do something with the space over here is this is an insulated refrigerator box. It's a reefer off the back of a truck. So I was really pushing to do something with this. Um, obviously I have not. Uh, what it's become is basically storage. There's a couple of kitty quads back there. The yellow one. 
And the red one, they're complete. They need to be started. I think one's a 70, one's a 110, or a pair of 90s or something like that. There's a 13 horsepower Predator motor back there. I don't know, you guys can see the blue label. That's got to go onto the Boland's tractor. Um, that's a um, 200S motor that's seized. That wooden box has nothing in it, a couple of tires. But um, you can see I have quite a bit of shelf space, the top shelf, the middle shelf, and um, the bottom shelf. So I do have space in here. Uh, this bike, Knight Rider, as she's known, um, this came out of the garage. Throttle still turns. It's a two-stroke, what is it known as, an MB5 um, Honda gas tanks rotted it out but it's got lights on it um, brakes chain you know exhaust it's got everything um, that, it, that I could use for another project so I kind of don't want to put it outside and let it deteriorate but it's taking up space in here same with this guy that tractor I have somewhat of an emotional attachment to I put it together during a difficult period of time in my life and I'd like to keep her around as long as possible basically its problem is the deck rotted out and then just assorted other other crap um, mini bike is a blast to ride you, you know just just a bunch of stuff so we got this space here but um, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna move the propane hoard into this shed because this shed's a little better ventilated i.e. it leaks more air I'm not quite sure I'm going to do it but I do have some space up here um, so I got to make use of, of this shelf space better these tools really should find themselves in a garage not sitting up here the little compressor everything else so I have to do better with that and for a 300 video the Horde always has new dimensions and at some point or another I think most of the sheds and all have been documented the only place that I don't think I've ever shown you guys is the um, the box trailer that I have um, you, it, it's by the Kia, was by the Kia, the Kia is no longer um, and I've been meaning to take a look in there myself to see what what I have in there. I'm talking this uh, this white thing here. You yeah, haven't been there in quite a while. So I did open the doors up and uh, I wasn't in, attacked by a flock of mice. I didn't have a load of bees bite the hell out of me. So I figured I'd take a, take a quick look in there and see what's going on. Yep, key is gone. The um, the bike that's supposed to live there, that's supposed to sit there, or the bike, the the tug is actually why I poured this. So I gotta fire it up, move it down, and uh, get it there. Uh, as you can see, I got I don't know if that's poison ivy. It doesn't look like three leaves. It doesn't look like the right vine either. Let's hope it's not. I really don't want to catch poison ivy screwing around, but you know, sometimes you got to break some eggs. So, this is my other box trailer. And dumb little things, like I noticed this bottle of propane that should come out of here and get filled. I got ramps and ladders and a window, and I got tires. Yeah, I haven't been back here in forever. It looks like I got metal storage shelves. I got a bunch of boxes that I never even opened. I got that box and those boxes. And I got bees buzzing behind my head. So, uh, I don't like bees. I got one of those electric goat scooters. I got a snake skin. Check out that snake skin. You guys got to think that's pretty cool, right? 
yeah snake skin so just figured I'd uh, share another place that's loaded with crap this box trailer yeah it was obviously a kids hangout Buster Cherry and rock and roll I think it was a hangout more in my day than a modern day anyway so yeah I figured I'd show you uh, a place that you guys haven't haven't been yet so another facet of the hoard um, about videos um, about bees anyway about videos I think generally speaking I'd like to um, be fixing less 200 S's whether I drag them out of the hoard or I go out and buy them and I'd actually like to get get some other stuff uh, running D.W. Morgan's uh, talking to me about, yo, where are, my two, where are my 200 X's? I keep talking about them, but where the heck are they? Um, most of the 200 X's got here early when I bought this place. I owned most of them already. Um, my primary 200 X, um, as a matter of fact, this was a little different back then. Uh, when I bought this house, the driveway wasn't completely paved. None of it was paved, as a matter of fact. I did that all those years ago. But uh, this area right here, the 200X that I'm referring to was unloaded from the truck, or actually a trailer. And um, it was dropped up here. And at the time, the garages were empty. It was just a bunch of stuff was put up here to get it out of the driveway so we could move the moving van in and out. And I went up here later that night to move it into the garage so it wouldn't get stolen. And it wasn't here. It wasn't. There was a bunch of other crap here that came over with it, but uh, it was not here. And though it ran, it was very fussy. It was a uh, hard to kickstart. It was really a fussy bike. Um, so. I don't think it, they they started it and stall it. I'm almost wondering if, you know, while things were being loaded, the characters I had helping me, you, you know, I mean, I was driving the truck. I had a couple of kids helping me. I'm wondering if they didn't load it and unload it right there so it never left my old house and they went back for it later or if it got here and somebody, you know, squirreled it off to the woods, managed to get it running and then took took off. Back in those days, I had I had a whole trail network back here. Um, my old house and my new house uh, are near each other, and the trails used to connect used to connect them. So I'm wondering, um, I spoke to all the local hoodlums. I mean, I'm fairly, I knew a lot of the high school kids back then and all. And I couldn't get anything. Nobody was talking. And normally with kids, somebody will talk, especially if, you know, somebody needs parts or somebody, you know, needs a hand getting their bike running. You, you know, they'll normally talk um, to, to get, you know. But uh, no, that thing disappeared and it, it never never hiding or here of that bike showed up again I mean nothing no words no nothing it was just gone and um, and you know normally when you do this stuff for as long as I've done this stuff you know you've bought and sold and traded bikes you're familiar with bikes you've you've seen friends bikes and y you know it's not like there's a million of these things in this one local area so Gradually, as you know bikes, you, you kind of know where they are and who they belong to. Well, that one disappeared and once again never, ever showed its face anywhere. So uh, that, that was a little strange. Um, uh, normally, um, about vandalism, I don't have 
too much trouble with it. I had that bike disappear every once in a while. I'll get some indications that somebody's on my property. One time I found uh, somebody had smoked most of a pack of cigarettes in front of the house and left the cigarettes and the, uh, and, and the buds right there. I'm not quite sure why they were in the front pasture uh, all the way out by the road smoking cigarettes. Um, there's not really, from where they were, there are better places to observe what's going on in the house. Um, they, where, from where they were, they really, even in the winter, they couldn't observe what was going on in the house very well. Um, during the summer, they couldn't even see the house from where they were. And they really couldn't have seen the neighbors' houses from where they were either. So I'm, not, I'm really not quite sure what that person was doing up there. It only happened once, and I haven't had any uh, additional sightings. Um, Every once in a while, you, you know, I'll get an idea that somebody's been floating around because I'll I'll see uh, something out in the old barn that's been moved, or uh, I'll see that like uh, this door was raised was raised up the other day. See how it's tied up against the floor? Well, it was it was raised up. Um, I don't leave them like that, so that that was a little strange. That means somebody probably tried tried to get in here for some reason, um, but. You, you know, I, I keep a pretty good eye on my stuff, and uh, I I haven't had any trouble with with, with vandalism. I also have friends that hunt here. Um, whenever there's something to shoot in season, or squirrels, or you, you know, rabbits, or whatever, um, I got buddies who are regularly here here who uh, who are armed and a little crazy. So I don't. You know, it's not the best place to go pilfering. My wife also has a lot of piano students in and out all times, you know, of of the day, um, adults during the day and, and kids at night. So there's like a lot of traffic in and out of the driveway. Plus my sons are in and out. Once again, plus friends with, with guns are in and out. I work night, so I'm here floating around a lot during the day. It's, it's really not a great place to rob. There's really just way too much activity, so that's probably why I haven't had a lot of trouble. And I also lock this place up and lock the house up, but, you know, if a robber really wants to get in, they'll just fire up a chainsaw and go through your wall and, and walk in that way. Anyway, friends, uh, and... Uh, YouTubers and subscribers and watchers, thanks for watching, thanks for commenting, thanks for subscribing, um, thanks for everything. I've, uh, I've used YouTube to kind of get myself organized to get some of these projects done. Um, and for those of you who say, you're organized, oh God, you should have seen me before I started YouTube. I mean, I just, y you know, had, had no path forward. Uh, by using YouTube, I, I try to organize myself when I'm on a project. I'm going forward on it. I uh, organize myself to, to ordering the parts if I need to order parts. And um, things, you, you know, I, just things move forward in a lot, a lot more real-time uh, value. Um, there are projects, obviously, that need to move forward faster and... Sometimes I waste my time on projects that uh, really aren't doing too much for me, but generally speaking, YouTube keeps me a little more organized. It, uh, it helps me with my quest. And uh, when I do put up a video, I, I watch them, and then I, I'm able to think myself, hey, you know, your problem is you got no place to work here. Like uh, yesterday in the rain, I really didn't make all that much forward progress because I didn't want to roll anything out into the rain so that I can use my space over here. And, uh, y you know, I own all this garage space and then, uh, you know, I, I can't use it because of all my insanity here with all this junk. So I got to work on that. All right, folks, live, love, and have a great time. We'll catch you on the next episode of The Horde. Thanks uh, for all the positive folks out there, um, for, uh, you know, the haters, the, uh, the negative feedback le leavers and all that. Here we go. Fuck you! And uh, we'll catch you on the next episode of The Horde. Till then, tires down, handlebars up, friends.